Welcome back to Apre Steep. This week, we are tackling question number two out of three posed by Sofex surrounding Riders Republic. This week, we're going to focus on the challenges in the game and our thoughts on those. You know, a game that we have yet to see full force in front of us. Uh, more dumb predictions coming at you right after news. This is Apre Steep, episode 37. We're now just 29 days away from the launch of Riders Republic. We've made it under a month. I think it's a month as of recording today since it's Tuesday. Um, so we'll have our hands on the game soon, but we still have a few events left to finish up in Steep. First of all, the Film Festival page will be closing soon, so make sure to get your submissions in if you still plan on it. We think we're going to be hosting the festival on Sunday, October 10th at around 11 a.m. That's a Sunday, so just hang around we're gonna do that in discord we'll have some chat watch some videos and have fun we also have the tfg canyon fodder event which will be closer to the middle later end of october and then the best beta tricks we will be doing that right before the game launches somewhere in that final week so we'll have both of those events up submissions will be closed are closed for those two events so film fest submissions will be closed soon and that's all we have for news All right, so today we have part two of, like I said, a three-part question posed by Sofex way back in September. Uh, last week, we focused on what DLCs, you know, once the game comes out, what is the first or in the first five grouping of DLCs that we're going to see? Uh, they gave a form out uh, to beta riders, beta testers with a few different sports on there. We're not sure if we're gonna see any of those, but we gave our thoughts. If you didn't see that main topic, go ahead and watch episode 36 after today's episode and you'll be all caught up. This week's question though, focuses around content and challenges in Riders Republic. Sofex asked us, do you guys think that they will add new content to the starting map by adding more challenges or changing parts of that map that maybe have less challenges in them? So are, are they going to change the map around? Are they going to add things to places that don't have a lot of things right now? Or do you think they're going to add the best community created content to the game so it's visible on that map? So the question here is pretty simple. I don't think I will be able to get as deep and you know psychological as we did last week with it. Um, but the, the parts of the map that don't have a lot going on, do we think the game is going to populate that later on with their content? or are they leaving that open for riders to create content for the game? It's kind of tough. Yeah, I could see both ways. I think, you know, some community content will pop up around the map. They had the Yeti challenges in Steep and some other community created events, trick challenges, some races that you could compete in. But I really do want to see them just add more challenges and changing certain parts of the map. I think a lot of people in the beta really enjoyed those stunt bike trick courses, like the one right up in Riders Ridge. And there was another one in Sequoia where you have to ride on the really skinny platforms through the trees. I think that's so easy to add to the game as long as they can create it because there's so many trees and forests around and it's adding props on top of that. So I think it would be really cool to see more of that. I think just everyone enjoyed that. So to that point, uh, would you put that, so you're you're the developer that's putting these into the game, right? These little tiny trick, or, or what do you want to call them? Sun challenges? Te technicals, technical yeah. challenges. Um, going through, do you add those to the map as a challenge, or do you just stumble upon those, you know, as you're exploring? Because I know a lot of trails out there, some of them don't advertise that they have little features like that. And as you're going, it says, you know, it's a double black diamond or whatever the rating is for mountain bike trails. It's a double black diamond, just be ready for it. You go down there and you find those technical features. Um, you know, they're they're not quite advertised for that. So is it something that you just find in nature or do you think that would be a timed challenge like it is closer to Riders Ridge? I think it should be some sort of time challenge. It almost like a little event popping up where you got to go ride it because Bryce Canyon has those, there was a stunt bike challenge where you have to hop that bike on top of all the little canyon fixtures. 
but I think they could build a really cool course with some wooden planks and all of that through it and maybe make that an event. Because the second part of my answer too with a lot of these challenges would be that I want to see a lot of these events travel more on the map. We have those giant balloons that mark off X Games, uh, some of the parks, but some of the stuff like, uh, I can't believe I'm blanking on the name right now, but line, not line catcher, the a Red Bull, Red Bull skiing Red Bull, event. how? Oh, I know, ride? right? Not Joyride. No, I mean, Joyride uh, could rampage. be too. Rampage. No, it's the skiing one. It's the backcountry. It's got the ramps. It's the TFG backcountry brawl. Oh, man. <laughs> Anyways. I don't know. Yeah. The Red Bull event where you, like, there's some cabins around. There's some, like, man-made ramps, some wooden ramps that they built into the snow. And, you know, that thing could travel around because there's so many different options on the map that you know the first couple months it's over here or maybe month by month but then the balloon changes and they've added a new one on the mountain and now it's time to conquer this one i think there's a lot of spots in this map that you know a lot of it's really well designed to ride but then you can just add a bit more on top of it right um so in in that vein are you talking about moving the entire event or just moving the balloon to a different feature on the map? Because in the early days of Steep, if you remember, if you were way back at the beginning of Steep when Swatch and I believe it was Spider, S-P-Y-D-E-R or mm -hmm. D-R, whatever, they were doing challenges in the game and they were giving you, you know, hey, here's this line, whoever has the best trick, you're winning ski gear, you're winning a watch, you're winning a phone, whatever it was, physical prizes in the real world. Um, do you think that is more appealing to Red Bull to just say, hey, we have 12 places that you can choose from, pick which one you want to be uh, next week's challenge, and they just move that balloon over the map? Or do you are, are you saying like Red Bull designs or Audi designs a nines course that we all go down, you know, <laughs> once a year, it's a DLC where you just get Audi nines, you go shred on there and then it's gone. I mean, they could That's do a that. lot more work. They but. could do that too. I think just, you know, adding some more red bull stuff as it goes on so they have the set locations right now but then in a month or two adding a new one and that being like the new cool place to check out that could easily coincide with the red bull challenger if they wanted to put a little series together with eight events and then they like when they do the first one in this first location that's in the game they have the video showing the winners all of that and they're like and now here's a preview of the new course and then yes. that's in the game so That'd be a really cool way if they do want to keep building on it and i think they will i think there's a lot more opportunity in riders republic for them to just add more of these seasonal challenges it's getting more into that rocket league fortnite battle pass season type system yeah and i think with seasons that just you know when it's summer season they add a whole bunch of new bike events and then when the winter season huts it's a refresh of all of the snow areas Yes, exactly. Oh, you just read my mind. And I hate that we're bringing up Fortnite, but I was bringing up Fortnite. Everything again. ties back to Fortnite Every, now at this everything, point. Everything is Fortnite. When I was in school learning about the music industry, one of our lessons was everything is McDonald's. Mm -hmm. you know, every company learned something from McDonald's. They taught them something, and that's just how capitalism works. Um, in video games now, everything is Fortnite. It's just You just base it off of them. Um, but that ties into the second part of this question in terms of community created content. Uh, Fortnite has recently, in the last year or so, it's really picked up with all of the speed runs and the death runs uh, community created content. They've given you the ability to go in and create your own maps. Um, obviously, you know, with the beta we saw, Riders Republic has the lab. They have a ton of different areas where you can share your own community based content. You can obviously do the same thing that we were doing back in Steep, which is create a line, share that line, have your friends ride, you know, whatever you just came up with. Um, are we going to focus, is Rider, us, are Riders Republic, is Riders Republic going to focus on the big bills with Red Bull and say, hey, you know, you have 12, 12 features throughout the year, figure something out. Every month you have a different feature and that's Red Bull, that's what's changing and rotating with the seasons. Or are they going to go the community route and say, hey, we're gonna feature a lot of stuff from the community instead of the big corporate names. Instead of Fortnite partnering with, you know, Rick and Morty or whatever, they're gonna say, hey, this user made something really cool. So thank you, Adult Swim. We're gonna, we're gonna focus on our players instead. Mm -hmm. 
Do we think that that's going to fill the map up as well with a bunch of community content? Or, you know, are they going to stick with the season thing and try and keep it all, all themed together? I think with the new lab system, it's going to move towards more community stuff. Yeah, you could share your stuff in Steep, but it had to be with friends right, on your friends list, and then they could play it, and then that was the only way to discover it. And now, I mean, with the lab, you can see the creations. You can see which one's the most popular. I think they'd be silly not to pull the most popular ones each week or whatever filter they have and compile those and then make that into a playlist, like a, either a list that you can play through is like top of the month of February or top of the year, or even add those into the game if they can. I think I had problems some, creating some challenges, so I think if you're too close to pre-made challenges, you can't. Oh, I didn't okay. experiment with it too much, so that's not the expert, but I like couldn't create a challenge in the X Games Park. So that would be a cool way to flush out some areas on the map that aren't touched already, if they can get the community involved. I just, I'm curious how they're going to do that because I didn't really touch the community lab events at all. I yeah. played one or two of, I think, Nate's and someone else, some of our friends that created them, but there wasn't a push and it was a beta, so I wasn't expecting it. But I want to see how they're going to advertise those once they come out. Are they going to have a weekly post or is it going to be, you know, like once a month they share one event on Twitter to check out? Like, I want to see that strategy. Yeah, I mean, and when we were playing, like, I, I'm the same as you. I didn't focus too much on the community maps, but I did play, like, Nate's uh, a few maps or a few challenges that he put up. Um, there was, you know, it showed you how many people have ridden that line, and it showed you how many people liked that line. And at the end of it, you get to go back, and, and I believe you go back to the lab and you vote there mm -hmm. if you liked it or not. I don't know if you can do it from the mountain after you do the challenge. Regardless, uh, they do have, it looks like they do have some kind of scoring analytics system that they're keeping tabs. So somewhere in some back closet, there's one computer that's keeping track of, oh, you know, Nate Hotshot had the best line this week. Let's focus on that. Mm -hmm. uh, it would be interesting to see if they do kind of like a tournament of content you know hey here are our five best maps from you know november to to february these are the top five the community has written them they've all liked them these are the most liked most written maps in the game vote your favorite or go ride your favorite mm -hmm. as many times and whoever has the most by this date will win x mm -hmm. you know I, I think that would be fun but you need that reliable fan base to, to keep those contests going. There's not a lot uh, attracting, you know, there's not a lot of uh, pull to get people to come in and try those. It's going to be the diehards that are going to be competing. Mm -hmm. And I think, yeah, they need to be spread on the map a bit more too. If they can show, I don't know how they would build it, but like the top, the current top five, they just are on the map. If there's a system in place yes. where you can do that. So while you're exploring, you come across some of those community events or even just broken down by region like yeah certain as you're riding through sequoia it's like you see a community challenge is like this was the most popular community challenge of sequoia for the past week so go check it out you just stumble across it naturally because i'm not the kind that will go sit through the creation lab and like play all these challenges right. to find them i'll go play certain ones if i hear they're good but that's not what i like to do but if i'm out on the mountain and like see coming across a community challenge and it says that press A to X to start the challenge, then I might check it out because I see it's in a cool spot. So yeah. it'd just be really rewarding to have those on the map and make it easier to play with the friends too. Yeah, I mean, I know even just coming from Steep, the number one thing that caught my eye in the the menu system on the map were weekly challenges mm -hmm. because that thumbnail was just a little bit bigger and a little bit brighter than all the other ones. You know, hey, it's, it's expiring in five days. Go ride this line. Uh, that was the first thing that popped up. So yeah, if the big jumbo board or anything, you know, can feature those, hey, look out for the bright gold challenges on the map. There's five of them. We want you to vote, ride, pick your favorite. Some kind of advertisement. Um, I really think, again, just pulling back into the game and what we experienced in the beta, Rider's Ridge is a wonderful place. It's a fantastic place that is such a genius idea to make your menu screen just a location on the map. Everything you need, all the news, all of the updates, everything are just in that one little space. Um, and, and that 
I, I feel like that Jumbotron is going to have a lot of effect on riders. Uh, and I hope that they use it to advertise things like this community created content on the map. Uh, and I also hope, yeah, I hope they give them the real estate on the map to show them on a thumbnail. Hey, come and play this run. Um, any any last thoughts on your end? Like, I, I loved this question. You and I went from point to point. We <laughs> both made sense the whole way. Dude, that was a fantastic discussion for a main topic. Yeah. Last week was just off the rails. Yeah, no, I, I don't think so. And the only, no, I won't get into my other part of this because that's a whole other topic. So we'll save that for the Wait, writer's report. No, tease it. We'll What's your other it. part of this? And then we'll jump right into writer's roundup. I uh, want to well, hear it. It depends if it's coming because I know it's been people ask for it. People want it. I It's not in the beta. I don't know if it'll ever happen. But if they support this game, we talked about um, what, like a park builder. Oh, yeah. 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 And you could I have a really good idea. If they add a park builder, I have something that they have to do. So we'll save that for the writer's report. Wonderful. We'll see you over in Riders Roundup. This week, kicking off the Riders Roundup with another selection from the Riders Republic beta album. We asked all of our listeners, all of our viewers, to submit their best pictures that they took during that open beta a few weeks ago. This week, we are featuring Pancake Life, and uh, I'm going to kick this one off. I don't want you to steal this <laughs> picture from me. Dude, check this one out. I mean, it it's real hard to get any better than that. And... It focus, obviously, focus in that top right corner with what looks like a lightsaber or some kind of laser beam beam of light. Didn't play the beta. That is a group together line. Uh, and I honestly really hope that they turn that off and, mm -hmm. and some, you know, some ability to turn that off during the game. Regardless, every time that you and I were together and I was trying to get a picture with us, that line was screwing me up. I did not know how to get rid of that line. I did not know how to make that line look like a part of the picture. Pancake Life figured it out. I don't know who he is connected to, where that line is going, but it adds so much to this picture. You have those wonderful reds and, and yellows down in that bottom left corner, and you have those cool blues and reds up in the top right. That is, this is just, I love the balance. I love the temperatures. Um, yeah, well done. You made one of the most impossible things that I was trying to figure out in the beta, you, you made it look like a masterpiece. So well done. Yeah, this looks, you think you were saying like a UFO or something that <laughs> belongs in space, or you could see it a lot of different ways. It's cool. Maybe it's a UFO in the background. Who knows? He's yeah, a shooting star too. It's a heat shield, you know, or like the cloud cloud dispersion. It's just, it's, it is a really cool photo. Mitch, what, what do you see in that lens flare? Um, yeah. Like you said, yeah. I see a UFO. You could also see like an umbrella. You can see that. Mm -hmm. it looks like yeah. he's riding a saucer. Yeah. He's riding a saucer with his skis. What, what do you see in that? I see that kind of the weird UFO type thing or almost like a puff of smoke. One of those smoke rings. Maybe he broke through the atmosphere, but it's just, it's, it's a cool use of that. And that ring, I don't know what that rings from, but I guess it's the lens flare. Like you said, it just yeah. lines up perfectly with that line that ties you to your buddy. Um, my favorite from his photos though, I think I'm going to go with the bike riding one. There's a couple of those, but where the bike is moving from left to right and you've got the sunset just behind the trees. Mm. Uh, I think this is in Sequoia just based on the look and the feel of this, but it's a beautiful location. It shows off how detailed that ground is. Just so refreshing coming from steep with, you know, seeing snow everywhere. And it was pretty, but it was just snow and, you know, a couple of trees. And this is a ton of detail. You got grass, shrubs, trees, small ones, and evergreen in the back. Got the balloon. You got the um, kind of the Rocky Mountain down on the bottom right, too. So just good and a great shot of that bike. Yeah, I love all of these pictures and how they can capture so much. You know, it's this one really focuses on what's in the foreground here. But like you said, that bottom right, that might be, you know, some desert, some some red rock, but that also might be some snow down there. 
You don't know, but there there's so many angles and so many vantage points in this game. You can capture a whole lot in just one picture. Well done, Pancake Life. Um, go and check out, you know, he, he's been uploading a ton of stuff to our um, self promo tab. Mm -hmm. So go and check out what Pancake Life is doing. That is definitely a name you do not want to forget, especially as we get closer and closer to Riders Republic. Uh, moving into the self, oh, I should say before we move on, sorry. If you have pictures from the beta that you would like to submit, some of your best work so far, even if it's not your best, even if it's just what you got, submit it to the beta album. We have that linked down below as well as over on Discord. Speaking of Discord, we are going back into our self promo tab. And this week we have Yemi Sun setting, or Yemi Vulgaris uh, with the sun setting on steep. Yes, I thought you were doing like a Japanese play on the words there with the Yami Sun. Uh, I labeled it wrong, I think, but I nope, came up I'm with just, the... Yeah. I'm just trying to read our script, and uh, <laughs> I never really learned how to read, so there and you go. And I the never the learned how to take notes for people that aren't me, so <laughs> nothing makes sense. Uh, this is just a picture he posted in our self-promo channel that has uh, two guys on top of one of the bridges in Japan in steep and the sun is setting. So that's why I nicknamed it the sun setting on steep, but I didn't even notice the players there at first until someone mentioned it, where you can see the outline of their bodies and their skis. So yeah. it's a nice little kind of artistic twist to this. Yeah. And you know, I, I don't think we've ever featured just a static picture on this bridge before. We've had people feature this bridge. You know, they're grinding the rail or something, or they're doing you know a flip over it or going under it with a wingsuit. I don't think we've ever just seen this bridge photographed on the show before. I, this is wonderful. I love this. And I love all of these, like, almost saying goodbye to steep pictures that are coming through. Um, uh, I apologize. I forget the name of the creator last week, but we had another wonderful one where it was like the sun was setting in steep and rising in Riders Republic stuff is poetic. I love this. We're, we're not writing steep off. We're just giving it a big old hug and we're moving next door. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, that one was also Pancake Life that took that photo. So was it? Okay. Yeah. Yep. Wonderful. It, proven the point. Go <laughs> check out Pancake Life and everything that he's bringing to the table. Uh, thank you to everyone who is submitting over on self promo. We are trying to get to as many as possible, but uh, we record this right before dinner time and both of our stomachs are grumbling. So we're going to keep it to just this one picture and we are going to encourage you to click, click the link down in the description. Join us over on Discord and figure out what all is going on over there. I think that's going to do it for this week. Ep episode 37 is officially wrapped. Thank you very much to our executive producer, Bone Crusher 2D and Coach 34, along with co-producers It's the Mort and Mitch's Mom, along with our fans and fans plus. If you would like to become a member, you can find the join button along with some videos explaining what all of that is over on our YouTube page proper. Yeah, you'll get some cool perks like early access to these videos, a uh, fan video per month, which we got to think of. We did September, but we got to think of October, I believe. Yeah. If anyone um, has any ideas for some fun, exclusive content for the month of October, put it down in the comments. We need some help. And we uh, also, you also get stickers next to your name. You get the Nick... Uh, Nick biting the glass and Mitch Pog emojis, I think, on YouTube and some other cool perks. You can also just subscribe to catch all of our videos. Make sure to stick around because we'll have this show running for a few more weeks and then the Riders Report starting soon. We'll have a TFG event or two in the near future and then the film festival over in Discord. Uh, you can also find us on Instagram, Nick and Mitch YT, where we posted some photos of the medals. Speaking of which, I do have the packages to send out. Oh, oh our first two medals are packed up, ready to go. A few go. packages. I'll flash where the label. Do we do we have countries? Can you at least give countries where they're headed to? Yeah, well, one of them is going to the U.S., so that's not exciting. I mean, Sweet. it's like... Uh, somewhere it's not too far away and then we got england so i had to fill out a customs form i had to describe what these are in detail what did you, yeah, what did you put on that like like esports esports metal no the, i think it came down to plastic necklace i think is the best way i could describe oh, okay. them because it was imi it's imitation jewelry is the code it had it's sure. weird. If it, was, right. if it was like an award, then the, I think there's even more things you got to fill out because we're giving a prize. So it's like, no, I'm sending someone a plastic necklace that they yeah. buy, you know? It's like, right. I didn't even know what to put for like the value of it. <laughs> it's like, how much is this worth? I'm like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> 
Oh, that's wonderful. I can't <laughs> wait to see these out in the wild. I can't wait for uh, riders to have these in their hands. Uh, and yeah, like you said, we have some events coming up and at least one of those events will be awarded a gold medal. It will be the first event that we will award a medal in real time on mm -hmm. the uh, competition. That is Canyon Fodder. So if you go over to Instagram, if you go to the YouTube page and you see these wonderful medals that Mitch has come up with on his 3D plastic 3D printer, um, and you feel like you want one, the only way to grab one is to compete and to be the best. So get after it, Canyon Fodder, and then we're going right into Riders Republic. It is open to anyone. We are all starting on the same level uh, in a few weeks here once Riders comes out. It's anyone's game for some of those gold. Uh, feel free to go check out all of our extra content. Become a member. We've went through all of this. Thank you so, so much for joining us for the 37th week of App Race Steep, like Mitch said, soon to be Riders Report. We will see you guys same time, same place next week, right here on Nick and Mitch. I'm Nick. And I'm Mitch. And we'll see you in on the slopes.